And you would have all heard of Billy Graham. And one of the things he said when he was asked if he could have a further 10 years of ministry. He said, I would spend nine years preparing and one year preaching. And so when it comes to us practicing, we've got to ask ourselves and have a think, are we spending that amount of time practicing our songs, preparing? Um, you know, for me, am I even doing that? And you've got to ask yourself, how much time are you spending in the presence of God? How much time do you spend warming up as a singer? So practice makes perfect. The next point is build build the team. And this this falls back from my last point of practice makes perfect. As we start to grow in our instrument and our gifting, we we start to see others get interested, and we have that saying: "Excellence attracts excellence." And so we start to see more people interested in joining us on this adventure in our worship team. Come again. And so we start to see more people interested in joining our worship teams because of this. I want to attend the Kobananga, I want to be a younger Okutuet and Nida no Queen, get a worship team or Roburun, you know, what to record it, sir. And there'll be all different people wanting to be involved. And the main thing we need to discern is do they have a heart for worship? And if you see a heart of worship as well as a desire for them to develop their musical skill, then we've got to make room for them on the team. And for many of us as worship pastors and worship leaders, it's the best thing ever to, to see your team growing in their gifting. So T is for turn up, E is for excel, A attitude. Uh -huh. great. T T turn up. Then A is attitude. A yava ya attitude. Now being great at your instrument is important, but we should value attitude above ability. Mpenano, okubai we chu machirunji. I would kabidi to lina okukuza embona ye yevi into okusingo wurunji we chokola. Tulina embona yevi into wachokube nange yo. 
tulina okufuna ensonga eyo ensonga leke ebenku okusinga chokubamu lwacho okubenanga okubenanga kube eliyo gobo ine goli kwenda kuwane oba eyo kigende lwacho nechiliwa and once i saw the car company ford their main slogan was culture eats strategy for breakfast Ah, uh, yeah, Coca Cola Company, a way we a yemed, Edina, Edina, and Ombo, a cova, and tea. Ah, Kalicha, area strategy, break a fast. And to break that down, what that means is we can develop the best plans and strategies, but what really makes an impact is the culture of the team. The attitudes of people that we want to be encouraging our team to be are ones that are happy to serve wherever, whenever, and doing whatever. And then finally, M is for membership. Bill Hybels writes, the local church is the hope of the world. And we're going to be an effective team. We need to be rooted and committed to our local church. And it's here in our church that we will develop our spiritual life alongside our giftings. Repeat again. If we, if it's here in church where we will develop our spiritual life alongside our giftings. If we're not involved in a local church, what will happen is the chances are our passion will fade. And if we're not involved in regular discipleship, like the, the life of a local church, then we start to see, we start to fade away. And it's important for us to spend a lot of time making sure that we have a good relationship with others on the team as well. And so get stuck involved in your church. Try and do everything to serve that you can. So that's team. Four little encouragements. T, turn up. E, excel. A, attitude. M, membership. attitude. I think one of the most important things to do as a team is to gather. Whether it be to worship together, to eat together, or play a game together, it's so, so important for you guys to be a community. 
obanga tu tuzanira kuwalala kirunji no eri team kitukomera mu bumu kuba idukira ali kuogera ku bumu it's here where you create a warm environment where people feel belonged era wano kupita mu bintu ebyo nga tuwalala we tuzimbira ne ne nkolagane enunji we tuzimbira embere enunji niba na ife betuli nabo era twabanga tubeyagalira mu so I'd encourage you, gather whoever you have on your worship team, worship together, eat together, have fun together, go and do something fun together, because this is what creates a team at the end of the day. And in your times of worship together, as you seek God together, you'll start to see a vision form as a, as a team for you. Eranga muli kuto eranga tuliku kore da walala buli buli chimunga tuku dianga teamu eranga mo tufuni da no kore sebo akoti jo kuli ingirizwa amai sugaife niwe tu kujio kora. So have fun together, have the best time, and to finish, Dan's gonna read a scripture. It's over to Dan. Ngatumaliza Tomu Alukuja Kubanga Some Chawan di Kibwa. Great. Um so just to finish, I thought I'd just read um Ephesians chapter four, just the very start of it. Um and I'll pause regularly, Isaac, don't worry. Um so it reads as a prisoner of the Lord, I plead with you to walk holy in a way that is suitable to your high rank given to you. Are you are reading your... Ephesians chapter 4, verses what? Verses 1 to 3. Verse 1 to 4. That is Ephesians chapter 4, right? Aluksoma Ebefeso, Okutandi Kira Opakakuokuna. Great. It reads As a prisoner of the Lord, I plead with you to walk holy in a way that is suitable to your high rank given to you in your divine calling. No, you can read with all. Shall I read all? Great. With tender humility and quiet patience, always demonstrate gentleness and generous love towards one another, especially towards those who may try your patience. Be faithful to guard the sweet harmony of the Holy Spirit among you in the bonds of peace being one body and one spirit, as you were all called into the same glorious hope of divine destiny. Okay. Thank you. So, ava kusoma, ave fe soina, okutandi kira o pakakuruokuna. Brilliant. And, and I think just as it says there, you know, unity comes because we've all got the same call, which is to worship him. Kala alikowanti, obumubuida. Nga tulina goro ndalo kuole seba kulala nga nukumu sinza katonda. Singa iwoba nga chigende luwache kukuwana ayo ngoli mutimu. Kavirone chigende luwache kusinza katonda. Wazira bumu tujia gima ganaya aliko wabu mwida. Nga tulina chigende luwache iti. Chilala. And God calls us to all love each other. Uh, whether we get on or not, everyone will do things differently, but we are still called to, to love. Katonda tuenda, katonda tueta, tuenga tuenda gana, wairenga tulibanda ulo ayo kubanga, tulagomu kwano, ulioma yenda mwini. And elsewhere in scripture, God even tells us that if we're not, um, if we're not getting on with someone else, that we have to leave our offering until that that conflict is resolved and then we bring our offering of worship so it's important to god um he, he delights in our worship when we're at peace with everyone when we're unified as a team and 
ero kubanga tuli kuisania ero kubanga tuli gondolo obukubagana obuli mwife twabanga tuli kirala ma wotwa ida twale to kusinza maiso ka katondo kugwandi eh so go for it be unified as a team and keep worshiping him kale no ren songe yo tube kirala tukume okole sebwa kulala nga team tukolele walala nga team ma obweleza bisobola okutambula no kusinza katonda nga bwe kigwana Thanks, Isaac. All right. Thank you, uh, Dan. Thank you, Tom. Uh, we are glad to have you and thank you for sharing with us.